Hi, my name is John Gibbons and I'm a sports osteopath and today we're going to look at the sternoclavicular joint and basically when we elevate the shoulders as in shrug then you probably take for granted that the proximal platypus should go in theory. Put your hands together Nick. When you bring, no, when you bring your hands together, together. When you protract the shoulders and re retract, so when you protract and retract. So for instance, in a retraction, you probably guess the proximal clavicle is going to go this way. And then when he protracts, you probably guess that the clavicle is going to go this way. So you could call it anterior, posterior, depending on what you've been taught. To test that, what we can do is, fingers lightly onto the anterior part of the clavicle, on the superior aspect, and then I'm going to get Nick to slowly shrug your shoulders, so bring you all the way up as far as you can. And back down. What I feel, I'm relaxed, what I feel is I feel the right side going down but not the left side. So the left side does not want to inferiorly glide. So I feel it's stuck in elevation on that side. It doesn't want to, seem to want to, to go down. And then, so what we know is the shrug test. Put your hands together again like we did. And then I'm going to palpate the anterior part of the joint here. And then slowly push your shoulders forward like protraction. And I can feel the left one wants to go back into retraction, but the right side does not. So what I'm saying is, is that I want to encourage the right side to go more into retraction, and I want to, the left side to go more into an inferior light. So let's treat that. Can I line it back, please? This is very important, because when we do lift your arm over the head, if the SC joint does not want to glide inferiorly, then more than likely the patient is going to perceive pain either at the AC joint, or even an impingement type of syndrome in the, the glenohumeral joint of the shoulder. And also when you bring the arms forward and backwards, then again the SC joint should be able to, to, to glide anteriorly and posteriorly. So let's look at um, the left side first. So what we're going to do with this one, I'm going to bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to control how much elevation. So I'm going to encourage the shrugging of the shoulder. And what I can do is not the most pleasant technique you can do, if you turn your head back like this, so and relax the sternum up, that's it. Now as I lift this shoulder up and down, I can use my fingers and gently glide the left clavicle inferiorly. So that's a simple mobilization technique. And then what I can also do is use an MET, a muscle energy technique. Nick, can you slowly, you have a choice, if you pull your arm up please, so he's actually utilizing the muscle of the trapezius and that's encouraging the inferior movement or I can say to push his arm down so that would be a reciprocal inhibition type of technique using the lower trapezius. Relax. Either way, it still has a 25, window, uh, sorry, 25 second window of opportunity where it can now encourage the mobilization technique. I can use my fingers but if I want to I can use my eminence or my hand and mobilize it going inferiorly. You can perform a thrust if you feel it needs it and you are appropriately qualified. So that's a mobilization technique to encourage the glide. On the right side, I want to encourage you to go into retraction. So what I want Nick to do is hold onto the back of my shoulder there. This healer hand is going to come directly onto the anterior part of the clavicle here. And then what I'm going to get Nick to do is Pull my shoulder, so you're going to pull, so he just retract in for 10 seconds. After 10 seconds, relax, take a breath. And as he breathes out, he does nothing. I use my healer hand and I apply a retraction type of pressure onto that right SC joint. And then again, you can repeat two or three times. Come on, sit please, place it that way. And hopefully when you retest, we ask him to elevate the shoulders, the clavicle goes down, bring your arms together please, this is called the prayer test, bring your arms forward, then the anterior part of the scapula goes posteriorly, and then when he brings his shoulders back, you can feel it going anteriorly. So there you have two techniques for the sternoclavicular joint. For further information on CBD courses, look on www.johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk.